The Virgins by Pamela Evans, Ernest. The Virgins by Pamela Ernest. Ernest, Ernest. I'm gonna go with Ernest. Um, I really didn't like this book. I just, I didn't, I just didn't think it was very written. I didn't like the plot. I didn't actually think there was a plot. I didn't like the characters. I felt no attachment to them. I just think it was a really bad book. I'm sorry, Pamela. But I just did. I just didn't like it. Basically, it's meant to be exploring the idea of innocence and the loss of it. Well, at least that's what I got from the blurb on the back. However, I just found out there was far too much sex and nothing else really happened in the book. There was no substance. But it wasn't even... I think it's going to sound really weird, but I kind of got a way to phrase it. It wasn't even like it was good quality sex. I feel like if you're going to have a lot of sex and sort of smutty stuff in a book, then you should, you kind of know what kind of book you're going for, and therefore you should be at a, a quality or a level that certain people enjoy. It should tick somebody's fantasy, is what I'm trying to get at. I can't think of a way to put it, but it just, it doesn't. It's just a lot of badly written, bad sex. It's just awkward and uncomfortable, but there's so much of it, it feel it doesn't sort of balance out. I feel like if you're going for realistic, and then give me more substance or more plot or more character development. Give me something that I can latch on to because I just felt like there was nothing in this book that was any way decent. Um, but yeah, I definitely think that if you're a younger reader, you should not be reading this book. I personally, if I actually knew what this book about, I wouldn't have picked it up because it wouldn't have interested me in the, slight, in the slightest. But I didn't and then I kind of persevered once I started, because I it was a, the only book I had on me for a very long train journey, so it was kind of this or do nothing. But if I don't, I think if I wasn't on the train journey, I probably would have stopped reading it as well. I just didn't enjoy it. Um, I know I definitely didn't feel any attachment to the characters because there's quite some sad things that happen, happen, happy, happen to them, and I didn't really feel anything for them. I didn't really care. Um, if anything, I found the main female protagonist quite annoying. The guy whose point of view this is from, I find him more offensive and worrying and harmful and possibly even kind of perverted and somewhat rapey, depending on your interpretation of things that he does. And that I don't think is what the writer's going for. I don't know, I feel like it's meant to be from a, a rapey sort of point of view. I feel like it's meant to be from sort of a horny young adolescent. I don't know what these noises are, but I, it just wasn't, it was just creepy and either the, the writer's got a very warped idea of what young adolescent males are like, that is what young adolescent males are like, in which case that's highly worrying, or the whole point of this was just missed. I just don't think it was a very good book at all. I would give you a synopsis, but I don't know what to tell you because there wasn't really a plot line. I think basically it's just about a bunch of kids at school. And they're all highly promiscuous and taking sort of hard, well not hard, they're taking drugs and doing all this kind of stuff, like their loss of their innocence. But you don't really feel like some of their innocence is lost or some of it's lost too much. You just feel kind of, you kind of pity them in a way, I guess, if that's the closest emotion I can think of what I actually felt towards these people. I just didn't like it. You can really tell I didn't. I'd only give it a 1 out of 10, and I think that's me being quite generous. I just, I wouldn't really recommend this book to anyone unless you really, really enjoy reading about really bad sex, in which case this is probably a good book for you. Otherwise, it just wasn't enjoyable at all. Okay, that's what I thought of The Virgins. Um, if anyone else has read this book and has an opinion that differs from mine or is the same, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know, or just if you feel like dropping in the comments below an actual good book for the idea of loss of innocence and things like that, because I haven't really seen one that's been executed well. So I would be intrigued to read one that people actually think is a good representation of the loss of innocence. I think it's quite a difficult subject to breach and a lot of people just get it horribly wrong. And I'm looking for someone who gets it somewhat right, basically. I hope everyone is well and I shall see you soon.